Get major questions answered at number three. The Detroit Lions have made their selection, and it is Jeff Akuda of Ohio State that is back to back Ohio State Buckeyes off the board. And it's the first cornerback that goes top three since 97, Sean Springs out of Ohio State. Yeah, and the last one went top four is Denzel Ward out of Ohio State to the Browns just a few years ago. And how about this? Head coach Urban Meyer recruited Joe Burrow to Ohio State, Chase Young to Ohio State, Jeez. Jeff Akuda. I don't know if there's another oh coach that's ever had three straight picks to begin a draft. So kudos to him and the job he did getting them there, at least initially, uh, even though obviously Burrow ended up moving on to LSU. Bottom line is this is to replace Darius Slay. When you look at the game of Jeff Okuda, he is NFL ready right now. They play so much press man-to-man -man coverage, something that you see at the NFL level, and that's what he's going to be asked to do within Matt Patricia's scheme. So this is not only a scheme fit, it fits the roster and what they lost in Darius Slay. He's the most complete quarterback in this draft, much like we talked about with the drop-off from Joe Burrow to the rest of the cornerback, quarterbacks, or even Chase Young to the rest of the edge rushers, there's a drop off in my opinion from Jeff Okuda and all the other cornerbacks in this year's draft. So if the Lions were thinking they could move back and still get a cornerback of his quality and, and, and the complete player that he is, I think they knew that was too big of a risk. And, and so now the draft really does start here. The Lions took a player in Jeff Okuda that we thought maybe would be the pick. We didn't necessarily know. And now it's going to get fun to see what the Giants do next. Yeah, Giants on the clock at four. Before we get to their pick, we want to bring in, bring in Pete Prisco. He's graded the top two picks as A's. Joe Burrow, Chase Young, what's Jeff Okuda to the Lions? He's a B. And the reason he's a B because I think they should have taken Derek Brown. I think when in doubt, you always take the big guy. I know there was a split inside that building. I had heard and everybody else in the league had heard that uh, the coaches wanted Derek Brown, but the Bob Quinn, the GM, wanted Jeff Akuda, and he decided to go with the cornerback. I just don't think that you could pass on big people that play like Derek Brown in this situation when you've had so many issues up front on your defense. That's why I give it a B. I like Akuda. I think he's a good player. I'm just not giving it a day, I give it a B. No, I think, look, it's a fair grade. I understand Pete's point. The problem is this is still a, a player of need and a player of value, in my opinion, when you look at what he brings to the table for this team. The biggest question is, d does the drafting of Jeff Okuda help this team get over the hump that they need to and give Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn the job security moving forward? That's the tough part about making this pick is, obviously, they've got a number of needs. This fills a gap, but I don't know if it necessarily gets them over the hump where they're making this decision a year from now. Yeah, if I'm a fan, I'm like, it seems, seems like a wash. We got rid of Slay. And now we have Akuda. I want to bring in Bryant McFadden, a great defensive back in his own right, two-time Super Bowl champion from the Pittsburgh Steelers. This has to make your heart nice and warm, BMAC, a cornerback going top three. Uh, no question. Uh, yes, I'm a bit biased when it comes to the secondary play, but Jeff Okuda is an outstanding player. I understand Pete's concern when you look at the defensive line. They added Danny Shelton, uh, Trey Flowers a year ago. Uh, so they're trying to add some pieces to help the defensive line out. But if you really want to help the defensive line out, find guys that can cover in the secondary. And I think Jeff Okuda was the best corner available. Clearly, he went into the draft process with that title. And I think outside of what he does in coverage, he's a football player. This kid loves to play football. Before he became a big-time starter for Ohio State, he, be, he made big-time contributions via special teams. And anytime I see a young player go out and make an impact on the special team side, he's a football player. He loves the game of football. So I think that's what he, that, those are the type of skill sets and attributes he will provide for Detroit as they continue to try to improve their team, especially on the defensive side. All right, that's Brian McFadden on fellow cornerback Jeff Akuda going number three to the Detroit Lions. By the way, that's the uh, first pair of teammates to go top three since 2000. Penn State, Courtney Brown, LeVar Arrington. We remember that 20 years ago. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.